It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, keto and gratitude go together. This is going out on Thanksgiving. You may be reading it or hearing it on some other day, and that's fine. It's a topic that doesn't get enough attention, in my opinion. There's a huge mental aspect to keto. Body image, losing weight, gaining weight, everything that has to do with that. You could say it's all mental in one way. How you see yourself is the beginning and end of all things you do for self-improvement. An attitude of gratitude is a superpower. It is a world-beating weapon if you know how to get there. Keto and gratitude go together because your attitude determines your altitude. I know these sound like cheesy self-help slogans, but they are extremely serious. If you see everything through a negative mind, it will all look hopeless and bad to you. If you are overweight, it actually means you have a lot of food. You have plenty of food. Tens of millions of people around the world barely survive. They live day to day. If you have a roof over your head, you're extremely lucky. If you're reading these wonderful words of wisdom, I can't tell you just how lucky you are. Okay, just kidding. But seriously, you must balance your mental view of the world if you want to have a happy life. You can't live always on the negative side. I'm bad, I'm overweight, I'm this, I'm that. So try this experiment. Hold your arms out in front of you and then put your hands kind of in a fist with your thumbs sticking up like you're doing thumbs up. Now look straight ahead and bring your hands and your thumbs slowly toward your eyes. Turn your thumbs sideways and then bring them all the way until they touch your eyes and you can't see anything but your thumbs. Now, you know your thumbs aren't big enough to block the view of the entire world from you, and yet here they are blocking your view. It's because you took your thumbs and you brought them right up in front of your face so you couldn't see anything around them. That's what we do with our problems. We make them bigger, we focus in on them, we zoom in on them until there's nothing else in our field of vision. You have to put things in perspective. Move those things that are blocking your view out away from you. Look at other things. Sit down and make a list of all the things you're grateful for. Oxygen, the sky, the stars, the moon, people, pets, friends, relations. Time to do the things you like. Personally, I'm very simple. I'm fine with sitting in nature with fresh air. That just makes me feel fantastic. High on your list should be gratitude that you know about keto. How many people don't even know where to start to lose weight or get healthy? So whether you're doing great on keto or not, don't even go there. You know about keto. You have a way. You have a way in front of you to go through, to get through, to become healthy. Start your day with gratitude. Start your meals with gratitude and a prayer if you're so inclined. Start everything with gratitude. Lead with gratitude. When you speak, let gratitude come out. Are you still going to have problems? Absolutely, of course. You're alive. You're a person. But we are putting things in their proper place after gratitude. It costs nothing to let gratitude be your dominant mental force. It could cost you everything if you forget to be grateful. Keto and gratitude go together. You just have to get in the habit of putting them together. You'll be amazed what happens once you realize that. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. 
If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.